we just got into this horrible story because now i feel nervous but i've had great times in here i've had bad times in here i've had so many different kinds of times in here i've just learned a lot in this room more than any other room i've ever been in, in my entire life Sounds like Kenny, he's behind you. Shut up. All right, let me let me thank some people. An Eagle IRL gifted a sub. Bipolar Ince gifted five subs. Neekster gifted five subs. Geneva 411 gifted a sub. Young Kira Official gifted 70. Oh, Young, Young Kira Official 79 gifted a sub. Duntless gifted five subs. Alicia Montana gifted nine subs. Timber Music gifted five subs. Sire NYC gifted 10 subs. Shout out to everyone being generous. Um, you know a button I'm going to press. Boo. That one guy, 2202, said, yo, Kenny, I'm about to rent out this Airbnb and invite some homies to record for a few days all on my own dollar. I'm low-key scared that they won't bring their A game and I'll feel like I'd waste money. How do you bring the best out of your artists? Um, yes. Be prepared to lose bread when it comes to anything like that because people might just not be in the mode. Even if they are bringing their A game, shit might not just come together. Music's a weird, fickle thing. You can't just set up the perfect studio session with the perfect artists with the perfect instruments and all the right equipment and expect it to go well sometimes it's just not there so be ready to lose money when you do shit like that number one best advice someone told me when i moved into like my first place was like be ready for shit to break be ready for everything to go wrong once something goes wrong you won't be as nervous then because you're not picturing oh this airbnb where we make all these hits all week what you're doing already seems like you you care about the mental health of these people that you're working with. You want them to be in this nice crib where they're away from their normal surroundings, where they feel like, you know what I mean? They're balling and they can record some shit on their own time and then their own way. I think you're already of the right mindset just by doing shit like that. Just try to make sure people are aware in the most positive way possible. Yo, we're here to work. Much, much food as you need, much weed as you need, much alcohol as you need, whatever. It's all here, but we're here to get some songs done. Let's make sure we leave every day having done some shit. As long as you can reaffirm that in a cool way where people don't feel like they're trapped in an Airbnb writing camp and they owe you beats and songs, um, shit should be cool. But don't hold it over people's head if you rent them an Airbnb to work and they don't get enough work done and say, I paid for all this and you didn't do no songs. Don't fucking do that. That'll ruin someone's creativity. Don't put a dollar amount value on the house you rented for the work you should get back. It's different every fucking time. I remember I rented a crib in Tahoe with Mike years and years and years ago to work on a project. Worked on fucking 10 songs. They all sucked except one. Be prepared to lose that bread. And Eagle IRL said, seeing you in the cave again reminds me of the good old days. Feels good, man. Keep on doing your thing. Keep the good vibes. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Um... Reggie Beach said, this place gives me so much nostalgia from when I joined the community during week two. You in this room motivated me to start making music when I was in a rough spot during quarantine. So honestly, I feel a connection to the cave and I've never been. I love that. Yes. Do y'all remember like the first weeks of quarant like the first weeks of lockdown and shit and just being like, what the fuck is going on? And we would just be in here talking shit with each other every day. I remember... I remember having to come into the cave every day, wipe down. I wiped down every surface with a Clorox wipe. I'd wear like the face the cover on top of the mask, on top of a hoodie. Oh my God. I remember every single time I would come in and out of the cave, I would go so crazy. Oh man. Me and I, 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 Eris one time touched the stream deck without doing the disinfectant. I freaked out. <laughs> um... Junk at 33. Hey, Kenny, I've been listening to your stuff for a while. It's all so good. Keep it up, man. Anyway, I've been feeling a little not inspired. I made some beats, and I'm wondering if I can get some feedback somehow. If not, that's cool. If I did all the beat feedbacks I got asked for, I wouldn't have time to do anything else. But I'm glad you're getting back to it and staying motivated. Shout out to you. Z Breezy said, hey, Kenny, been a minute since I've been able to catch a stream live. Thanks for being my motivation through all the bullshit in 2020. When you get a minute, please check your DMs. I'm lurking there got it i'll check them later lab god said you the goat bro also bop it goes hard as fuck i aspire to be like you anyways have a good day in the cave that was nice of you appreciate it um kenny it's dauntless pronounced dauntless lol it's been months if you put a oh. if you put a v for the a i'm calling it either one you're, it's D V U N T. Oh, I guess I should know because the next letter is a U. D 
You wouldn't do one V for a U and then a U. Okay, all right. You got a point. You got a point, Dauntless. I mean, Dauntless. You got a point, Dauntless. I used to have a V in my name. I know the struggle. I'll give you this one. I got called Loud Pep. Oh, man. I don't like talking about this. I truly don't. But I would get picked up by promoters. I would get picked up by people. And they'd be like, all right. So excited to have you. Been listening to you since your first song on SoundCloud. You're my favorite fucking DJ. Like, I just love everything about you guys. You're so funny on Twitter. Okay, the show tonight is going to be packed. We bought you a cake. We got you, like, these necklaces we made you. All this candy, all this bullshit. Like, da-da-da. We got water guns. There's going to be girls on stage. There's going to be all this shit. So, um, how'd you guys come up with the name Loud Puck? And I'm like, you did all that. All these gifts, all this shit, all this money, set up this big ass show, you're the biggest fan, all this different shit. You can't even say the fucking name. Never put a V in your name. If you already got a V in your name, you got to ride the way about. I've been there, so I feel for you. But if you're picking your new name, no Vs. Even if your name is Vicky or something, just go Wiki or just do something else. You, the Vs just confuse everybody at this point. Yes. We should have just let ASAP Rocky rock with it because he had a good thing going with Vsvip. But my dumb ass co-opted it. I, then I, now I see people like Slumberjack with a V or some shit. will be like, man, I thought Loud Pack had a tight name. Like, shit was my fault. Truly. And if you think the other dude I used to DJ with was calling weed Loud Pack, like, get real. Look at the two of us. I was wearing fucking Supreme Cheetah jackets and, and fucking yes. Bape turtlenecks. Like, trust me, I was the one who thought Loud Pack was a sick call. We should have just let ASAP Rocky go. We should have just let ASAP have the V for the A. Now well, I'm calling people Duntless. His name is Dauntless. Like, this is not my fault. D Duntless. Dauntless, this is your fault. For trusting me and for me trusting ASAP Rocky. So really, go talk to ASAP Rocky. Um, Jackie said, I took such an L in the voice chat last night. Yeah, Jackie, get your audio feed right. What's going on? Can you get your... Your interface working? What's the deal? This is a producer Discord. If I send a mod the song I wanted to show you, will you listen to it? I don't mean on stream. I just want you to hear it. Um, okay, fine. Deal, Jackie. Because I came in there to hear some music, and y'all couldn't get your shit together. So I will listen to it. Um, shout out to you. Jackie was going off in makeup chat today. I need to get in makeup chat. Because we were doing fit pick chat in the Discord. And I had my fit was fire. I don't care what anybody said about my white socks. My fit was hard. But then they started makeup chat, and I I can't even do makeup. I need someone to beat my face. And then I realized when I said beat my face, all like the fucking straight white dudes in there are like, yo, you want someone to fight you? No, beat my face is a makeup term. If you don't know what that is, you're lost. I need someone to beat my face so I could participate in the makeup chat because I felt left out today. And Hawaii and Jackie were posting flex pictures, and I had nothing. I'm going to ask Rico. I'm going to see if Rico will do it for me. Another, th another thing <laughs> another thing I'm upset about, I will never understand the the people who are still on some like, never seen Kenny Beats without a hat. Like, yo, Kenny Beats, take your hat off. Like, yo, hairline reveal. Like, there's mad pictures of me on my Instagram with no hat. Like, multiple, like, not one hidden one in a photo stream. Like, there's a bunch of different pictures of me with no hat on my Instagram. I'm not taking off right now because my haircut is fucked. I, I, my hair grows like so quick and looks so bad within three days of me getting it cut. So I've always worn a hat, even when I had long hair. Like, I don't understand. People forever, yo, never seen a picture. Like, it's on my Instagram right now. It's recent. Go, go crazy. I wear fucking hats. Like, I don't understand. Like, Smitty bad call take it off pussy this is not a 21 savage album you little bitch and i know your fucking music sucks and you in here taking your anger out on me but guess what i'm in the cave today and i don't got time for you smitty bad call you fucking loser so you're gonna take the first block of the day you've sent 112 messages today so i know you're in love with me so go fucking take the picture of me off your fucking wall that you got off getty images stop fucking crying go put on the 21 savage album and actually listen to it and maybe you could stop being such a pussy instead of calling me one 21 21 I need to smoke weed. I need to smoke weed. Fucking loser. All right, hold on. <laughs> uh, I said, Shaking what you got 
when I tell you she was cool, she was red hot. I mean, she was steaming. And that time over at Johnny's place, well, this chick got up and she slapped Johnny's face. Man, we just fell about the place. If that chick don't. Oh my god. I was lacking in so many ways. Shane, all Shane shit is like hella stanced up. Stanced up with a with a V for an A. Someone said, Kenny, is it weird to have a 20 yes. X 20 foot poster of just your head? Picture of your line. D <coughs> DJ Gunjan said, two times tried to fail, open a cave in my city in 2020, and none of the leases in the SF Bay region are affordable. Oh, SF is so fucking expensive. Now I'm working on a solar powered cave inside my vehicle. It's loud as I could ever want. Shout out to Kenny and all the Discord. Inspired me to elevate. Yes. <laughs> Gunjan, are you are you saying you built a, a cave inside of a vehicle? We need to see this. Either you fully have fucking lost it or you're the biggest genius in here. We need to see this. We need to see the beat bus. What the fuck? I'm so, also, I'm like... I wrote a song for this occasion. Th thank you. Whoa. Real too easy. Just gifted a hundred bucks. Bro, laugh my ass off. Love the stream. Recently got back into music after the days of Fruity Loops. I've never seen a community as strong as this one. Your Discord is fire and the community is helpful 24-7. I've learned more from the Discord than BS Google searches. <coughs> <coughs> Real too easy. Thank you. Here's the thing about that. Thank you for being so generous. You do not need to donate that much money to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. But when someone donates money like that and that's what their message is their message isn't hey kenny i would like it if you did this hey kenny da -da -da, can you talk about this da -da -da. when the message is just like yo thanks to the discord bro like i don't know about you if i spend 30 bucks on some something whack or like i lose 30 bucks i'm miserable so if someone donates anything to you and they say yo the discord's been really helpful like i really believe them i feel like i really believe that um, this is an emotional stream, crying in the club stream. Oh my God. Every time Brass Tracks sends me a text, I get so excited. Do you... this is whenever I'm, I'm not good enough at music and I get a certain text and I don't want to, I don't want them to know that I'm not good enough at music. Alright, okay, you guys are gonna help me. I just got a text from Brass Tracks. Don't, do not, do not tell Brass Tracks. Okay, don't, you do not need to alert him to the, to any, don't alert Ivan to the stream. Just please, I need your help to respond to a text. This is, I'm dead ass. Don't go tweet, don't be a jerk. I need help responding to the text. I know y'all are fire at music. Okay, secret stream starts right now. Said so he was. He said sorry I didn't get to this yesterday. Doing it right now. I'll have something tonight because I asked him to play some horns on some shit. I mean, I'm a whisper. He said this is a weird, hyper specific question. Do you know if they want me to lean into the first chord of the song as C seven sharp nine, or a straight up C minor, or not to worry about the harmony extensions that much? I think I hear an E in that first bass guitar voicing, and I might be crazy. Did you, did we think he was texting Jacob Collier? Like, what do you? Oh, I, I need, I need a. Yes. I'm gonna just say, yeah, we were like, we were, we were discussing a lot of negative harmony when we were working on that section of the arrangement oh here we go we were we've been on this we've been on this super negative harmony tip 
for our for the B sections of most of the arrangements on the album. So honestly, if you wanted to lean towards the sharp ninth parentheses or even throw a 13th in there, I think it could add to the harmonic dimension of the tune. Jazz guys always say tune. It's a thing. If you if you play jazz, you don't call them songs. It's tune. They always say tunes. Oh, it's a great tune. I come on. I know some jazz people. Let me see. I think that was good. I don't know what any of that means, but I feel like he's gonna be like, oh, you're, he knows. You know, that's all we want here. We don't want the song to come out good. We just want Ivan to be like, he's tight. That's all we're looking for. The more extensions, the better. Yes. That was fire. Who said that? Someone said just text back yes. That's almost like the smartest. Like I'm too like I'm too smart. Because because then he's gonna be puzzled. He's gonna be like. Yeah. Abstract. Yes might be the the game changer. Do you guys know about uh the 48 Laws of Power? It's all about like saying the least amount possible so that everybody else talks too much and then you seem really powerful because you just use a little bit of a little bit to say a lot. That's some 48 laws of power. Right, I'm gonna just say, of course, of I feel like, of course I feel like of course is too much. <laughs> I'm gonna just go. Big brain. <laughs> Big brain. <laughs> Sensational. Sensational. <laughs> oh. Someone said the Benadryl kicking in. Well, I'm not on Benadryl. Um, okay. Anomic84 said, how much to get Jacob Collier to judge the beat battle? I know he lives in London, but I think it's early enough. Also, it's not a song if there's no singing. Jacob Collier does not know who I am. And also, if Jacob Collier judged the beat battles, I would have to be doing this the whole time. I would have to put on my fake this fake jazz personality for the whole time and be like, Jacob, these kids clearly haven't heard the early Herbie stuff, right? Me on FaceTime. Jacob, did he really think that the that we weren't going to hear a 251? Like, what is this, ground floor? All right, guys, me yelling at you guys. All right, guys, look, come on, this is an amateur hour. <laughs> Smokes the pipe. <laughs> I can't have Jacob on here, brother. I can't, I can't what am I going to talk to him about? Music? No. What am I going to have to say in that conversation? Uh. Why is Ivan so smart? I'm I'm so high. I don't know, maybe it's something about the cave bong. I don't know what it, my cave bong is a very weird shape. Does that have to do with it? The shape? Church Grimart, just tell him don't overthink shit. Don't fucking I made the sign. Don't tell me. Actually, Mike made it. Um, Zoo said, Bonsoir, Kenneth. Marv dropping her first single this Friday. We're at release party. Release party. We're going to play it on stream. Release party. Um, now that you're back in the cave, when are you getting Marv up in there? Nene is in reminiscence. What the fuck, Zoo? Um, I told Marv and DVR, as soon as they come out here, come to the cave. I actually told them to come to the Dot Studio, not the cave, the other spot. But... Yeah. As soon as Marv's out here, as soon as DVR is out here, ooh yeah, if you're ever out here, pull up. Felix, I'll even let your fucking crazy ass in here. Who the only person I'm scared guess who I'm scared to let who give the address of the cave to? Hint, they're a mod. Hint. 
They don't say much. Like, I would let Corson pull up, but I got to pick Corson up at LAX and drive him everywhere. I can't get, I can't, I'm not giving Corson the, his, like the, his own addresses, you know? I'm not going to be like, oh, Corson, like, here's the like, slide. Arm can pull up whenever. I'm not scared of Arm. Arm probably got a gun. Uh, JL, hey, Kenny, let's get into it. I told her I'm a Discord legend, and she said, oh, that's cute. Go, bestie. Oh, God. I don't even, I don't have the light. I don't have the light. What do you mean, hey, Kenny, let's get into it? Oh, God. Oh, God. Got a thing for you. for recording doesn't mean it's not a place for feelings it is it's really it's more for feelings than anything if you think about it how do you write a song without pain welcome to the jesus what the fuck sensation why are all my why are all the buttons on at once see i don't remember how to use the cave stream God. um wait where were we Jay, you know what? Maybe you guys are just friends. Maybe you're meant to be friends. She said, go bestie. That's that's the boundary. You got to leave it there. Next time. Don't lead with, I'm a Discord legend. The fuck? You could say that in the Discord and people would be like, eh. I wouldn't say it to the one you're trying to impress. Like... Someone said, what's, the, uh, what's your advice? My advice? Lie. Say you founded Discord. That's a thing to say. I invented the website. I guess you are- By the time they find out you're lying, they're already going to love you. Said- if they know you like I do, Jay. If they know you like I do, is what I'm trying to say. I came back to let you know. All right, we're done with paint chat. Let me fucking... Why are we in paint chat? This is not... This is the cave. The cave is a happy place. <sighs> Young Beans. What's up, Kenny? I have a couple hundred beats sitting in my hard drive. I would say about 80% of them are done, but I don't know what to do with them or where to take it from here. How do I take it to the next level as a rapper producer? Um, you have a couple hundred beats? You didn't say a couple hundred songs. So, and if you're a rapper slash producer, it sounds like you got a lot of shit to rap on. Pfft, I'm over here solving equations. <laughs> <laughs> That was easy. Um, Add Ziuba. Hey, Kenny, who's that behind you? Don't. Don't. I know this room like the back of my hand. I'm, this shit is locked down. You better shut up. And keep that thing. Anomic84. How much... Oh, no. Stop asking. People keep asking me about Jacob Collier. I can't do it. Virgil Ray gifted two subs. Someone said, this is a chill chat. Noodle Boy, it's your first time in here? This is my first day streaming. Welcome to the cave. Someone said, Kenny, you need to wash your window in the bath. Here's the thing about it. There's some, there's like some very important things that are stuck to the window that I can't move. It's like it's like if you go visit a house from the 1800s and they keep all the silverware and shit like that so you can have a field trip. I can't. It's history. So I can only wash around the spots. Noodle Boy, how are you doing? I forgot, I forgot I was talking to you. Welcome. This is your first day in the chat? What do you think? Any any improvements we could make? Someone said the window does not get washed. Don't focus on the window. Focus on the conversation. Look into my eyes when we're talking. I don't understand why you're looking over there. 
Someone said, where's the Kenny Beats Cave episode? Yes. Actually, it's interesting that you say that. Because. Oh, no, it's not set up anymore. Fuck. I was on the mic today going crazy. Yes. I was really going crazy on the mic. Oh, fuck. I got to close Ableton. Hold on. Um, I was going crazy on the mic today. I'm not even going to lie to you. All, all mostly, mostly R&B. It was not a lot of bars. But I don't use autotune. Jet Wilder said whack. What do you mean whack? Let me hear you sing, Jet Wilder. What do you mean where's the bars? Why do I have to rap? If I'm going to start being an artist, can I can't do R&B? Have you seen me in the pain chat? Where do you think all this advice comes from? From my pain. I got melodies, guys. I feel like... Here's the like I know you might think like man Kenny I don't even know what your music is going to sound like I can't even relate it to anything what do you think you would relate your music to Here's what I would say I'm like a cross between Neil Young and Sway Lee I'm producing everything Yes Someone says show us your singing it's in, there's a little bit in my in my uh story right now there's a little snippet in my story. Let me see if I have another extra one. Hold on. I might have a little extra one that I recorded. I want to tell you guys this so soon. The Cave season, except every episode, is featuring me. I don't want to show too much right now because it's like I. That that's raw. That was super raw. I, I did a little, I sang for medicine the other day a little bit. Some people heard it on the stream. I was playing a little road singing. It's hard yes. to believe. Go check the VOD. I, know. I was trying to get Eris on the mic a little bit. Eris wasn't really killing it. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Eris needed a little work on the mic. I was, look how excited Eris wants to be on the mic though. He was juiced. Look at Eris so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Eris, how how bad did you want to be on the mic, Eris? <laughs> Wait, watch watch Eris on the mic. Hold on. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be the only artist coming out of dots. I didn't want to tell you guys this. Oh, where is that? Oh, I had another fire video of me singing. That's that was the melody with the most potential, but regardless, a li that has no CLA vocals. That's through the iPhone. If you hear it processed, I think we've learned on this stream to be patient, and that sometimes all it takes is just a little bit of a little template. You know what I mean? Puts it right together. Ad Zuba said, "Hey Kenny, it's my roommate's birthday last week, and he released this song. Would you want to watch it?" When it's a weird link like that, I can't trust it. I can't. I'm sorry. But happy birthday. Gray said, Kenny wanted to let you know that Arvox by Waves is free till October 15th. Arvox is free. Till I would just, if I was y'all and I don't have that, I would just get it. Free plug-in till October 15th from Waves. Um, links and stuff are in Tumay's Discord. Oh. That was a ploy. You thought free plug-in, let's all go over to Tume. No. We banished Dino to Tumei's Discord. We're not into Yolk Core. I don't want I don't understand. Hold on. Let me see something really quick. Hold on. I'm getting the crowd text. So happy to be a part of this community. I'm part of the LG. TBQ plus community and a female producer. This stream really inspires me to keep pushing and other like-minded people. Fuck yeah. Geneva, fuck yeah. Love you. Shout out to you. Keep going fucking crazy. If you need anything from us, just hop in the Discord. We're always there. We're always inclusive. It's always a safe space. And shout out to you. Um, Stin97, 
what was the most challenging thing for you moving from EDM to rap? Understanding that you don't know what the fuck you're doing just because you produce one thing really well and you start trying to do another thing, you don't know shit about that other thing. Yeah, I know. They're both in the same DAW. Yeah, the sounds, you have the same, you have the drums, you have the synths, you know what they're using. doesn't matter. You don't know shit about what they're doing. Just because you're fire over here does not mean it applies over here. It does not apply in a lot of different ways in my eyes. How many times do you think uh, someone who's amazing at making dance music, EDM music, whatever, tries to make rap beats and it sounds corny? Every time. Why is that? Because they don't pay homage. They don't pay respect. They don't do their actual homework and see, like, the people who are making the beats, you guys, you guys in fucking, you know what I mean? Whatever grade you're in, like, people like Nick Mir and Jetson are young as fuck setting the trends with the swing, the bounce, the whatever. Like, all of them do their thing a certain way and they might not do it how you do it. They might not use fucking OTT. They might not have perfectly quantized things or whatever the fuck it is that you learned in this other genre. So you got to go there. You got to pay real attention and you got to learn from the people who are doing it. Do your homework. You know, if you take offense to that, like I can't, I can't see how really wanting to understand something else and going and taking it beyond face value and seeing what the really subtle differences are can seem like a minus to you that just makes you you know what i mean someone who picks up on much more of a hint when it comes to working with an artist than that person who says oh well i do this really well so let me go over here and show them how to do what they're doing you don't know what they're doing i remember when i met big head and i was like it doesn't matter that big head's 18 years old like his songs that he's doing right now are the biggest songs in the fucking world and if people want to try to show him how to clean his beats up and how to make shit sound in fl and this and that it takes away from what he's doing let him do him you know do your homework don't be swinging blind someone said yo you still got the old studio this is the studio um who else who else who else joey p said real pain is having a flat ass man boy do i know you can only do a certain length of car ride before just like the tops of my legs hurt because they got nothing protecting them. We're not going to go back into the ass thing. Um, Young Beans, Joey P. Okay, Stin97. Think I got you guys. Ron Dog just gifted some subs. Shout out to you, Ron Dog. E V N S C H. Hey, Kenny, I remember your IG lives 2018 at the cave. 777 got me through a super rough time in my life. Thank you for being a beacon of light in the sea of doubt. Jesus. For <laughs> musicians and producers. Um, we owe you a couple dollars for the game you give out so generously. You don't owe me shit, man. You can come on here and watch this for free right now, no? Like, you can go watch a rip from Flicko or Suwu, I mean, or CLA Wu or whoever you want. You can. Go, I'm sorry, I'm in cave mindset. If you, uh, you can go watch this for free right now, no? There's people in this watching this for free. Wait, if you're watching this for free right now and you're not sub, say hell yeah. <laughs> Please, I'm, I promise I'm, I'm stoked. If you're watching this for free right now and you're not paying and you're not subs, say hell yeah. Let's go, baby. You know what I mean? You don't need to give me a fucking dollar. And also, like, sometimes maybe I'll drop some info. <laughs> okay, it's a lot of hell yeahs. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> um, either way, the people who do subscribe, you know what I mean? That's who's participating in the battles. That's who really has, like, directs access to my ears and all the ears of the people who are watching the stream from an industry perspective and this and that but for all the people who want to come in and just learn some shit and do this or that it's like it's a beautiful fucking thing it's a beautiful thing man um i want people to be able to soak up games so they can be better so they can do 10 times what i'm doing so they can inspire the fuck out of me you know what i mean there's there's plenty of room in this there's plenty of money in this I feel like some of the people with the most money at these labels feel like there's only so much bread and there's only so much percentage on so many songs. Like, how many songs do you think I've made since we've been on stream today? A, a fucking million? You know what I mean? There's always going to be songs. There's always going to be more money. There's always going to be more people blowing up. There's always going to be more shit happening. Like, if you're worried about protecting your space or your production secrets or whatever it is, that bad, you know what I mean? Maybe I don't understand you. Maybe maybe people are just different. You know what I mean? You, you, not everybody has to be a big sharer. I get that. But in my eyes, I feel so fortunate. Especially as just a white dude in black music, period. 
I feel so fortunate to be able to do what I do. If I'm not showing everything I'm doing and giving back this and that, what the fuck do I look like? Holding back secrets. You know what I mean? And trying to act like I'm holier than thou or anything like that. Fuck that. I'm, I'm an imposter in, in the genres I like. So I might as well be giving back. I might as people should be able to come watch this shit for free. People, the rips on YouTube should continue so people can go look at my shit later for free. You know what I mean? That's beautiful. At the same time, I got people in here like Alicia who go so far out of their way as to tell their friends who don't even watch Twitch and go on Discord like, hey, there's this huge community of people who make music and creatives and this and that. Someone just said, Kenny Sus. I'm, just like, I'm not even gonna let you get to me right now, but I just can't understand how you can find that. Sus Will 304. Hold on. What is sus about? Oh, you deleted it. I was trying to click his shit. Um, young swagger just gifted ten subs. You see what I mean? Like, there's people in here who go so hard for this community. Also, oh, someone said it's a game thing. Oh, Among Us. Man, I don't know. You know I don't know that shit. You know I'm in here talking about shit that means something to me. It looks crazy. Come on. You know what it is. Um, it just makes the most sense to me. And here's the thing. Big Crit gave me the best piece of advice ever when I was 18, 19 years old. Big Crit said to me, yo, you're never going to make the perfect beat for the perfect person that beat you think you're going to get to jay-z is never going to get to jay-z that you know what i mean that one idea you have in the studio about the exact path that something's going to take for you is never going to happen you're always going to get better you're always going to make hotter shit you're always going to be learning if you stay how you stay right now you're always going to be doing newer shit with different equipment with different people with different techniques with different drums with different keyboards with different whatever it's always going to happen and for me, that's been true. And I've thought about that ever since the day he said it to me. I've probably thought about it every single month since the day he said it to me. And, I, and that's 10 years. Shout out to Crit, man. I haven't talked to him in so long. But I'd love to just get on the phone with him. Not for Twitch, not for trying just to talk to Crit. Because I, I don't even think he knows how much he inspired me. And I was around Crit a, sh a lot when I was that age. Because I was interning for his manager. Shout out Johnny Shipes. Um, Johnny Shipes also, you might know him he, he, uh, as Joey Badass's manager, working with Cameron, starting the Smokers Club, working with Nipsey for a long time. Uh, when when he just stopped working with Nipsey, he was always has worked with Smoke Dizza. I had done a lot of stuff for Smoke Dizza. If you really know the Kenny Beats timeline, you know I did a Smoke Dizza Kendrick Lamar song. You know I did a Smoke Dizza Dom Kennedy song. You know I did a lot of stuff with Smoke Dizza when I was really young. Smoke, R.I.P. Nip, of course. Smoke um it was always been managed by johnny i was johnny's first intern so i went from interning at uh rca records j records when i was in high school and i was i was the i was answering phones for john eman who now is asap rocky's manager who used to be the vp of a and r at interscope when because he, he ended up signing lana del rey but uh, John was an assistant for Larry Jackson. Larry Jackson is head of Apple Music, if I'm not wrong. So Larry was at, I don't want to get it wrong, J or RCA. They were on the same floor, same building. I can't remember. They would move me from to both sides of the office. Larry Jackson was working at a label. John Eamon was an assistant at a label. I was an intern at a label. Now... I'm whatever the fuck I am. John Eamon's Rockies manager and a, a, was a major is a major executive. And Larry Jackson's like one of the most powerful dudes in music. Larry Jackson probably said hi to me two times. I don't think he would even know I was his intern. But uh, that was my first internship. And it was at a label. So it was very label. You, a label is a label now. It was a label then. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't getting coffee or any of that cliche shit you think. I was in there like involved in music shit. And I was listening to demos from artists that were getting signed. And I remember running into Mike Posner in the hallway when he had just done cooler than me, maybe that means something to y'all. Maybe you guys don't know who that is, but, uh, a cool shit happened when I was interning there and I was only in high school. So I was like barely 18 years old. And then after that, I was like, okay, I want to do something that's way more unstructured, like way more real world. 
because I felt like I was in this one office every day. Every day, I take the same train to the same office every single day. And I would fucking start to realize like, yo, all the people I follow, because I was really just Twitter at the time, but all the people that I follow and I fuck with, it seems like they're always moving around. They're always going to all these meetings, doing all this shit. I want to be on that side of it. How do I be on that side of it? And Johnny Shipes was the person who I always saw working with Big Crit, work like he would be at Currency all the time. He started the Smokers Club tour. He was always with TDE guys. He, he then worked with Joey Badass. That was after me, but he was always doing all this cool shit. And I was like, man, what if I worked for him? Also, I knew they smoked. So I was like, man, I was fucking selling weed. I was a young kid and shit. I was like, oh, if I work for them, I can still burn it down. <laughs> fucking idiot. So I started, uh, I started hitting Johnny up all the time. He had followed me already because I would always retweet their shit nonstop. And I wish you guys could see what Twitter was. Like Twitch is the closest thing to it now because Twitch is like, I know you guys feel like it's huge and you know better than me because you guys were probably watching like Ninja on Twitch and know about all this shit that I don't know about with gaming stuff. But Twitch is still like, generally not this thing like twitter or instagram where people are having 100 million followers you know what i mean it's this newer smaller thing so right now if you reach somebody on twitch like it's a way more probable thing than reaching somebody who has 10 million followers on instagram there's no way they'll ever see you maybe it's more plausible on twitch probably not the best example but twitter at this time period when i was young twitter was small like I could fucking hit up managers of artists. And like right now, somebody's manager always is probably popping or they're really small and they're private. Like managers at the time, the biggest managers would have like 10,000 followers. Some of y'all in here have 10,000 followers. You know what I mean? Like you could really reach out to artists and artists would only have 70,000 followers, 80,000 followers. And I mean like the hottest people. I mean like people you really, like think about right now if like, uh, What's a good example? What's a good example? What's a good example? Um, think about right now if Roddy Rich had like 65K on on Twitter. How much more likely are you if he's like, yo, send a, uh, send a fucking beat to this email to get a beat to him than yes. what Roddy Rich has actually in real life right now? It was shit like that. Like people who were big in the world and shit were not that big on Twitter because people weren't on Twitter like that. I'm talking about 2010. 2009 2010 so i would reach out my point is i would reach out to managers and i reach out to artists and i'd get a lot of responses because all i would ever say is like yo really down to help out if you ever need a hand with anything i can be in the city in two seconds like just let me know i'm a huge fan and they already followed me because i had already supported so much and people were throwing follows and answering dms way more back then because it wasn't so clogged up like it is now so I DM Johnny a bunch of times and he ended up being like, all right, pull up, pulled up to his house. Um, Smoke Dizza was there. He was there. They were like, I thought we were going to start talking about the internship. And they were like, yo, play some beats. So I played some beats. The first beat I played them, the first beat became this song. Hold on. <laughs> first beat I played. Holy shit, how do I do this? Hold on. <laughs> Sensation. First beat. Old Kenny Beats. <laughs> what the fuck? Where's the weed? Ah, uh. I'm up. The headband's calling me. Handle things accordingly. Thank the Lord, grab my papers. Time for an early session. Go. Head stash the size of the pillow. I rest my head on. Dead on. Dipping my ass drain instead. Got one free roll, so breakfast in bed. <laughs> so it was hella weed rap. Shout out to Smokey, my boy. Um, That was a beat I did when I was, what, 18? I'm 29. <laughs> so, so that was the first beat I played and he was like fucking with it. And I was like, oh, this is crazy. Like I'd never really been, this. he was the biggest artist I'd worked with by far. I'd work with people like from my high school at this time. And Dizzle was on every blog. He would be on, you guys, these won't mean anything to you, but he was on 
two dope boys, now right, uh, um, fake shore drives, like all the popping blogs that we like the way you guys right now are going to look at our generation music or like academics or some shit or like world star, whatever, find out about an artist, maybe find out about them on Twitter, or Instagram. You would go to these blogs all the time and this is how you would see everybody. And I would always see Dizza on the blogs all the time. And he'd always have features from popping people. I did a song with him and Kendrick. It's called ball game. But, uh, I played all these beats and then I was like, yo, so Johnny, if you ever need any help, I'm around this and that. And, Johnny was like, okay, cool. Pull up tomorrow right here. Be here 9 a.m. There was no like, okay, here's going to be your internship. Here's the syllabus. This is normally what our, he never had an intern before. He was just like, okay, this kid wants to do like bullshit work for me. Cool. So I was there the next day, right on time. Johnny was like, okay, you're going to go drop this off at this bank. You're going to meet me at the XXL office. Crit has an interview there. Guess who interviewed big crit first day of my first internship. Rob Markman. For, met Rob Markman first day of my internship. See how this shit all comes together now? Look at how many times you see Rob Markman on your timeline via genius now. Like, let me see if I can find this tweet. Hold on. Rob Markman. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let me see. I bet he sent a tweet about me. I was so juiced. I wonder if it's still on Twitter. Like this is we're talking like so long ago. Um Man, I don't think it's on here no more. I can't find it, but Rob tweeted like some nice ass shit. I met him the first day. Someone said, Kenny, you're kinda old. I'm dumb old. I'm twenty nine. It's over. It's a wrap for me. Um, meet me at this interview. Then you're going to meet me over here, this and that. And then it was just that for months. And so I was around Big Crit all the time because I was his manager's like runner. You know what I mean? More than I was an intern, I was like a runner. I just went and I would do everything. Go pick up food, go do this, go over here. And it taught me top five lessons in my life that internship besides that thing i said from crit which was a huge lesson not top five it taught me that like shit is just gonna be fucked up and you just have to make it work like things are gonna be wrong they're not gonna be right you're not gonna have the right answers you're not gonna have all the info you need and you still gotta make it work that's what that internship legitimately taught me um someone said did you get paid no i did not get paid my mom ended up being like you have to ask for a Metro card. You're paying $40 a day to come back and forth from Connecticut just to do this internship. You're losing money. Do I know you're getting experience, but you're losing money. My mom's like, ask for a Metro card. What the fuck? So I, I, I was mad nervous. I was like, yo, Johnny, I get it. If you don't want to do this, I had like a paragraph preface. You don't have to give me one. And he was like, yo, whatever, how much is it? And he just paid for it. But no, nah, I didn't get paid. I'll get some free weed sometimes. And I got a Metro card. But what else do you need? I was fucking 19. Um, so either way, being around Crit, being around these artists, doing this real life internship and also doing a label internship. By the time I was 19 turning 20, I was starting to get my first placements. I'd been around a lot of management shit, behind the scenes shit for at least my peer group and the people I knew most of my other friends, maybe they'd gotten a beat off people. I knew on the internet, this and that, maybe they'd work with people, but they weren't like going in and out of offices with somebody's manager. And I was lucky to have that experience at a young age taught me a lot of shit, but I was going to school. Like at the same time, I would go back to school after the summer. And then the rest, I didn't take any other summers off from the, for the rest of college. I stayed in Boston every single summer and just worked through the summers. And then I like, never came home really unless it was for specific things so that was the last time i spent uh in new york and at home in connecticut was like working for johnny doing that internship and then i was in boston from them on at berkeley and i remember being at berkeley and i would get beats off but i wasn't in the mix i wasn't going into offices i wasn't walking around with these artists i wasn't being with artists all the time once in a while like asap mob would come to boston and 12 he would call me and I go get on the bus for a day and show it. A rap music was on the bus one time. Like, I remember just hanging out and it was like, 
it'd be the biggest day of my three months. But when I was in New York, I remember like the day I met Yams was like right before the day seeing Rocky's first performance was right before the day that like I saw Flatbush Zombies for the first time. That was right before the day that fucking, you know what I mean? I like crit was doing this tour with currency and like all this shit was happening. And I was able to get there cause I had met a couple people and I'd done a couple beats. And as soon as I went to school, it all got removed, you know? And all those lessons that I learned shit like crit telling me, like, don't hold your beats back. Don't wait for the perfect time for something to happen or think that, yo, I made the best thing I ever made. I got to hold it tight. I'm never going to make everything else. I was thinking about all this shit. They taught me and I learned all this stuff in such a short period of time and thought about it for so many years and it still all applies to me, but I don't know how it would have went if I didn't go to school and I stayed in New York, if I stayed home and just fucking did internships, got beats off, just tried to make it work. I wonder what, where I'd be. I wonder if I'd be in the same place. Who fucking knows? Simply J Beats said, Kenny, I got so much love for you. You're part of my mindset going from hip hop beats to house techno to do what I can do the best. Much love to you. Keep your streams going. Thank you so much for growing this insane community. Come on. Shout out to you. Um, NSD, D-I-V-I-S-I. I don't know how to say it. Can I get a birthday shout out for my girlfriend, Viv, and tell her anything is possible and go for her dreams? Viv. Wait, this one. I want this one. Anything is possible. Go for your dreams. Happy birthday, Viv. <laughs> Sensational. Jesus, it's so loud. Um, real too easy. What's the best way to approach a producer about learning? I have a few local here, but I'm not sure the best way to approach. I'm sure the music industry is nothing like the automotive industry, and I want to make sure I have the right etiquette. I think the best way to approach anybody at all is just like, yo, I really want to learn. I really want to help. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Huge fan of what you do. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Like, however you get that sentiment across the most eloquently, I don't see how people can argue with that. To this day, when I see people say that to me, it always means more than like, yo, I'd love to collab. Yo, can I come see you work? Yo, how much for a collab? Yo, much? Like, whatever people say, like, the most enticing thing for me to, is when people are like, yo, I really, really want to learn. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to help out. Let me know. Because that's what I say. I, I still say that. I, to this day, I'm, I, I, I literally, the, my joke is always, let me be the intern. Because it's like, I, I mean it that much. If I got to work for free, make no money on this, get no credit on this, and kind of just sit there and play the back and help out where I can help out, even in a small capacity, I'm happy to do that. How do you think I ended up on the Idols record doing additional production and shit like that? You know what I mean? Like, because I told them, like, if you guys need even a little bit of help, anything, I'm happy to be the intern. I'm happy to be the janitor, period. You know what I mean? Fossabot, you better shut up. Someone said the music school helped you any? Of course it did. Someone said if I would be down to smoke, to be Kenny's intern, if I could smoke weed with him during break time. Mitch never even really wanted to smoke. Like, Mitch would smoke weed with me sometimes. But I, I'd be like, yo, Mitch, come on, like, let's smoke a wood. And he would just be like, bro, like, I'm going to just be sitting in here having a panic attack. So maybe I mean, maybe you would. Scope, so dope, 97, give the sub. Young Swagga, uh, give the 10 subs. Lotta, Lodi, Doty, give to the sub. Timber Music, give to another sub. C, Baseline, give to five subs. Ron Dog, give to five subs. Shout out to all you guys. Andy Milanakis came in here last night and, or yesterday. We were doing the beat battle, gifted 100 subs. Shout out to Andy. I'm going to answer his DM. I forgot he DM me some shit about IRL streaming. I was going to do my food stream for y'all the other day because I made an Eggo waffle with Nutella and peanut butter with an ice cream. It got crazy. I just didn't think it was the perfect first item. The Life Spectre. Hey, Kenny, just want to thank you for the community you've built. I have severe depression and watching your streams have really helped uplift my mood. I have yet to bring myself to go to the mental health chat, but hopefully someday I'll be able to. How about today? How about you just do it today? Sometimes you gotta just fucking do it. Last night I was sitting on the couch and I'm not trying to compare this to you dealing with severe, you know what I mean, serious things. What I'm trying to say is last night I literally was sitting there telling myself, mm, I'd love to go make some shit right now. 
Yes. I really would like to go, you know what I mean, get up and cook myself some food and then go make something, but I'm so tired. Maybe I'll just go to bed. Maybe I'll just whatever, this and that. Da, da, da. Just fucking get up. Just just get up right now go in that mental health chat. Luke is going to meet you in there. Luke's the best person ever. Is D-Bars online? Is D-Bars online? Do we have D-Bars online? We need D-Bars in there. D-Bars is really the GOAT. Um... It's the bars. Yes, 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 he is. D bars is online. D bars. Yes. What? Let me let me ask a question first before I continue. What hairstyle are you rocking right now? Because if D bars is ponytail or full curls, you're gonna get a whole different answer. Shout out to Ron Dog, big gift, 15 subs. But hold on, really quick, this is important. D bars, what? What are we doing right now with the curls? I need to know. D bars. Someone said it's the pronounced the bars, not D bars. I like D bars. That's my name. He has a bun. Oh my god, knowledge. A bun. Over. Blunts and blondes. Four twenty. Just give the ten subs. Shout out to you, community. Um, shout out to you, Ron Dog. If you got gifted a sub tonight, please say thank you. That's all I ask. But if you're too scared to go in there right now, Mister No Sach, I heard you say it twice. If you're saying it twice, that means you want someone to tell you to go in there. So go in there. If you want to talk to someone, if you're feeling like shit, if you're feeling stressed, if you're one of those people where I say, hey, you're having a good Tuesday, you're having a good Monday, you're having a good Friday, and you say no. I say, put a W if you're feeling good, you put an L. Go in there. There's people who talk to you right now. Look, people saying, bro, I'll meet you in there right now. You don't know if it's a bro, so maybe don't put bro right there. Just say, hey, I'll meet you in there right now, however you want to meet. Um, go in there. Stop saying go in bro, bro. Don't just say go in there, please, my friend. <laughs> um sometimes it's hard you know what i mean sometimes it's hard to start sometimes it's hard to say oh i'm gonna go into this random ass server and tell someone shit i don't even tell the people around me but you know what i mean the concept of why i've used therapy or why other people go to therapy and why therapy needs to be normalized is because talking to someone that isn't right next to you and isn't around you and doesn't know all the ins and outs of every political thing that you have going in your life and relationship that you don't want to fluster or whatever it might be. Those are the people who sometimes can really listen because they don't have any stake in the game, you know? And that's what a therapist does for me. And I'm not saying that the mental health chat is a place for, um, in place of therapy, but there's links in the mental health chat to getting cheap therapy, free therapy, r resources near you, how to find uh, all these resources if you actually want to talk to someone in person around where you are. You don't need to go in there and necessarily talk to someone in there, but there's resources in there for you. Just know if you feel like shit or you're not feeling yourself or you're feeling depressed or you're not feeling inspired, there's no, there's a spectrum to it. You know what I mean? Please respect it. Don't go in there and say, oh, I didn't make any good beats today. Cheer me up. Come on. Respect it. It's for mental health. But at the same time, there is a ton of people right now saying, hey, I'll meet you in there. That's why we don't have this button for no reason. Um... Having a friend can save your life. Talking to, buddy, talking to somebody can save your life. Let me tell you something about Mike. Oh, God. Mike is the greatest person I know. He's my manager. He's been my best friend for a really long time. But he's the greatest person I know. And just know when he sees one of his friends even thinking about anything or going too deep or too sad or whatever it is, he does anything he can to help. You know what I mean? And... It really inspires me to make that a big focus in my life. As much as making music is a focus in your life. You know what I mean? Helping out people going through it. If you've been through it, help out people going through it. The mental health chat is the first step to looking up resources near you or maybe saying something to somebody. And it's a beautiful place to go right now if you don't know where else to go right now. And you're in here and you're feeling the shit I'm saying. So it's in the Discord. Boom, boom. <laughs> Um, yeah, won't spend too much more time on it. Don't want to fucking put anybody on a spotlight. RWR 70 I said the exact same thing. I said the exact same thing to you a few months back when I asked to speak to your lawyer. Um, I never heard it from Dylan or Aris, but I know everyone's busy, but I was, it was unlikely I'd get to talk to your lawyer. Big ups for staying true to you. I don't know what you're responding to, but RWR, try to hit Harris and Dill again. Maybe we can help you out. My lawyer is busier than I am, though. I'll tell you that much. I'm not his biggest client by a long shot. 
uh, technically saying, would you ever get Flatbush Zombies in the cave or would you ever stream with them? Yeah, I mean, sure. I would love to have zombies in the cave. I don't even know when they're out here. I haven't talked to them. I've, I've talked to Juice like one time, I think, but I don't really know them super well. My homies do. Uh, e. Sandberg said, I sent you a rude message on Twitter last month. And of my 50 nice attempts to contact you, this is the shitty message you responded to. I've been lost in going through it, making lots of bad decisions. But I want to apologize because it stuck with me. Real sorry, G. I probably just said some little stupid shit to you. And trust me, it's not weighing on me. Don't feel like it's anything serious. But hey, when you send 50 nice messages to someone and then say some shitty ass shit, you fucking asked for it, bro. Because then they're going to go in there and see that immediately and be like, hey, so where did you change your tone? You just gave someone the setup for a ratio. I'm going to spike it. But shout out to you. It's all love. Hope you're good. <laughs> um, who else did I miss? Who else did I miss? Okay, I think I got most of the people. Anthony in Delicato just gifted a sub. Maybe let's do a little cook. Fuck it, right? The cave. Old vibe. Come on. Turn it up. Um, all right. Let me open this shit up. Someone said, Kenny, you gonna cook? Oh, beat you to it. <laughs> Chances are my shit's gonna sound like that. I haven't made a beat in the cave in a long time. I don't know what the energy is in here. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I had a sample that I liked. I think I want to do... Okay, yeah, I think I got one. Hold on. Okay. Um, Where is my Ableton button? Damn, this shit looks completely different over here. Ableton, Ableton, Ableton. <laughs> Sensational. Sensational. Y'all said make some new metal? Shut up. I don't know why I like 118 so much. 118 feels slower to me than a slower tempo. Does that make sense? It feels the slowest. I don't know why. I don't need any of this template. I don't got a single goddamn instrument in here. Now can we can we please look around and remember this is how I'm used to working? <laughs> no keyboards, no drums, no mics, no guitars, no basses, no pedals, no yes. <laughs> fucking nothing. Like this is how I'm used to doing it. This is how I did it for years and years and years. God. <laughs> Sensational. Sensational. that first feeling when i just pull out a sample and people are just like where'd you get that from though i don't need to see i don't need to see your fucking midi drums where'd you get the sample like sit there and get mad how good does that sample sound mm. yeah i know it sounds like zz fuck you i like that song Mwah. go but 
drawing in some MIDI tonight. Ooh, I just I miss just sitting in this fucking chair and drawing MIDI. <laughs> Something about it.
be in here for me.
the deal so listen I can hear now on this you better pay
Ron Dog, give the 10 subs. Thank you, Ron Dog. Hey, Cave Stream, I feel like we're doing good, no? Gunjan, did you really build a studio in your fucking car? Go, go.
okay, okay. I think I'm gonna save it. Right, saving at the end of the beats is the worst way to go. I used to be better about it. I don't know. I think it's only on Twitch is where I'm bad about it. Um, okay. Switch cave. Boom. New one. Wow. Cool. Hard. Um, save. Hey. Brass Track said that they joined in the stream, but it was way after I was asking for advice. Hey. <laughs> Sensation. pop another herb kenny do you mean should i i don't feel like you're popping one with me uh hey kenny just want to say thank you for the cave stream found out yesterday family friend died um, of a drug overdose Jeez. um he was like a older brother than me always in the lookout for me the stream is really helping me well yo in that case let's stick around for a little bit and hang out super sorry to hear about that for you i lost a friend recently too i know it's not easy but hey we're here mental health chats here discord's here if you want to talk to anybody i know someone will meet you in the chat right now in discord let me know um someone said my tea is hard guess who made it my friends it's a don't overthink shit shirt these are gone forever they'll never be around again if you got one shout out to you thanks for supporting um koopy d said can you show us a little behind the scenes and how you make songs for blazer core I think, like, you guys saw me make Blazer Core shit this week. You know, I think, like, the WAP thing is, like, that is a Blazer Core song. So was the other Take K one. It's really just Blazer Core is basically defined by me using those synths and those instruments in that room to make the beat more so than, like, I, there's, a, there's a couple samples on Blazer Core. And there's a couple beats that don't pertain to that. But pretty much every beat on there is beats I've made with my friends or people I work with or whatever just on like the roads the poly 61 the fucking the dx7 that little shitty red synth the drums in there the bass is in there the guitar is in there that's what a lot of that shit is so someone said we don't want to see how the bacon is made well, there you go ezra 42 uh hi kenny i'm a first year jazz student i've been losing interest in performing gigging and now i'm spending all my time making beats music with other artists i'm more passionate in production than i ever was in jazz can't justify staying here tips you said it. You know what you got to do. Um, I can't imagine what it's like for people whose whole thing is like playing out, playing shows, playing in front of people, doing this and that. That's cr it's like it's crazy to to think about how those people feel right now. Think about JD and Domi, guys. Like JD and Domi are about to release their first music, but how they get their stuff out is playing in front of people, playing concerts. You know what I mean? Playing their instruments. It's not as much of an in studio thing. So. I think a lot of people are having a lot of awakenings right now about what they need to do with the music they're putting out as opposed to just the music they're playing out. And it means put some out and put some more out and make sure that you're putting all your fucking effort and time spent into shedding in the studio instead of just shedding for your performance. Um, someone said, how do you find time every Friday to crank out a multi-track mixtape that fast? Well, think of it this way. I make beats all week long. I usually include beats that I've made throughout the week. There's been a couple times on volume five and volume six where I've like rushed and made beats because it was like 2 p.m. on Friday and I didn't have a blazer core ready, but I'm making beats throughout the week. So I try to just include those and play you guys a couple things you haven't heard on stream because even as much as it's fun to like, I just made a beat for you on stream 10 seconds ago. If I came on here and was like mad mysterious and was like, I was in the studio with someone crazy last night. I made something. I made something y'all would fuck with. I shouldn't be playing you this. Da, da, da. And then I play this. Oh. 
everyone would have been like, oh, man, it's tight. Like, but as I'm making it, it's like, oh, well, I saw how he flipped it. I saw how he did this. I showed you how I made the bacon. I like playing some shit on Twitch that you guys haven't seen me make. I give away a lot of shit. I share a lot of my process and this and that and make shit on here from scratch all the time or cut a sample up or whatever. So I think it's nice. Blazer core, really the point of it, more than the stupid blazer thing or having a specific sound or whatever. It's like having shit every week that you guys haven't heard that I can surprise you with. Because now that I'm on with you guys every week, it's like there's not that much, there's not as many surprises. The only thing that's a surprise is you don't know any music I'm working on. I worked on some music last week I could not be more excited about. But you'll never know. It's not in my Instagram story. There's no picture of me in the person. There's no none of that. So like the only things you guys don't see are all the songs that are coming out. Besides that, I'm telling you guys a lot of shit. I tell you about what's going on with my friends. I tell you all this stuff. So someone said, uh, you said stupid blazer. Take it back. Okay, it's not, the blazer's not stupid. Relax. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, someone said, Koopy D said, how do you find time? I make time. I was just talking about this in the phone today with a friend of mine who works at Capitol Records. I was saying to them, like, they were like, how do you fit the streams in with making music now, now that sessions are starting to happen again and people are getting tested and, you know what I mean, booking normal hours in the studio. I know you normally do a couple sessions every day or at least on weekdays. How are you fitting in streams? And I told them, I was like, I make time for it the way I make time for my sessions. Like, I can't miss Monday B Battle. I can't miss it. It's too, too many people are riding on it. I, the thought of, like, somebody waiting all week no matter who they are where they're from whatever they do like somebody waiting all week like to have that battle or to win or whatever it is man it's so fucking it's so crazy for me to just like skip one and be like oh yeah fuck this battle this week i can't do it you know qpd said hey kenny blazer core mixtape really inspired me would be okay with you if i released my own core i didn't invent cores I just have my own. Yeah, go ahead. Go crazy. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Jerno Gerga said, Hey, Kenny, long time listener, first time donation. It was mentioned that Francis Starlight submitted a beat to the beat battles. Is there a file of his submission anywhere? Much love. I wish I knew. Benny Blanco told me that Francis submitted, and I have no fucking idea when or where or what. Ruler Bob said, What's your subway order? Probably a custom made or meatball like four cookies um ketamine kim <laughs> you got to get something with bobby and corbin man me and bobby got a bunch of beats shout out to bobby raps but yeah corbin's a genius i have a beat where i cut up corbin's voice can't play it for you technically saying would you ever get flatbush zombies on the cave oh yeah i read that sorry um did i miss anybody okay ron dog thank you for the fucking subs Blunts and Blondes 420, thank you for the subs. Oh, Ron Dog again. You're going crazy, Ron Dog. Ron Dog, you give him 31 subs. Appreciate you. Um, low def. Kenny, how are you keeping yourself from procrastinating? I've sat around all day and haven't made shit. Just been watching you on YouTube and stream. Okay, ready? Ready? Low def. Are you here? Are you in the chat? I know you just donated a second ago. You gotta be here. Low def, are you here? Can you hear me? Low def. Yes. Low def, can you hear me? I'm, I want to speak to you specifically. You say you've been sitting around all day. Come on. Can you hear me? Hello? Low def. Kodi oh, Kodiak Zilla, that's you? Okay. As we're talking right now, where is where is the computer? Or where is the place you make music? Kodiak, where do you make music? Do you have a laptop? Do you have a computer... At the house, you have a studio you have to drive to. Where is it? It's right next to me. Open the computer. We're all waiting on you. See how slow it's moving? Open the computer. Open it right now. Is the computer open? Do you, have, do you now have your computer open that you haven't opened all day long? This is me talking to you. Like, you've been saying you've been watching my stream all day. You've been doing all this shit. I'm talking directly to you. There's no one else. There's no one in the chat. It's just us. I said, bro, I'm watching you on my laptop. Okay. 
Put me really small in the corner. Minimize. Bro, minimize. Like this. Minimize. Put me in the top corner. Put me in the top corner. Okay. Open up the DAW. Even if it's FL. Even if it's Cubase. Whatever it is. Open it up. Start a beat, please. Turn me off, start a beat. This VOD is going to be there. Turn, Close me out. Start a beat. Come back in 10 minutes if it's fucked. It's okay. Just start something right now, please. What's the best sample you have? Put the best sample you in there and put some drums on it right now. Close me out. Flicko got yours back. Trust me. Someone said, even if it's Cubase, got a problem with Cubase, bro? Do you have a problem with yourself? Why are you using it? Um... Open Genius Beat Maker or whatever you use and start a beat. Okay. Did that help? I feel like if you've been stuck on me giving you advice, I just gave you like direct, start a beat. Just start one right now. Give it a try. If it doesn't go well, come back. Everybody tell at Kodiak Zilla, please start a beat right now, please. But say please. Easy. Have you ever worked with Suicide Boys or ever thought about working with them? Um, I don't really know their music too well. I know they got a very crazy fan base and I know their shit has like a 3-6 Mafia kind of tint to it. But nah, I, I never really met them. They one time recommended me the best place to get a po' boy when I was in New Orleans. So shout out to them. Um, one more long said, can I hear, can I hear party popper in this setting again, just to feel something? Yes. Hold on. I need to smoke. Hold on. <laughs> you can definitely do that. Hold on. One more long. I know sometimes you go in the discord and randomly just post. Migos lyrics like, hey, who's chasing the bag in here today, guys? What's up? I know we have our moments where I roast you, but I think we share we share some some similar tendencies, one Wu Long. Hey guys, it's one Wu Long here in the Discord. Who's getting the bag and fumbling it? <laughs> Wait, all right, let me find Party Popper. Original stream. Sensation. Go. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie, for putting it in French. Guys, who's chasing Le Bag? I appreciate that. International viewers. Baby, no, I do it this I'm on food, no bag ain't no this jack. Stop a bro, look at a bitch, you got stuck I'm stuck, beat, beat Why you not link up in the street? Me and bit and brick and curve Put this relationship gold Baby, you know what I do with this I'm a bum, no bang, you know this jam I'm a fucking evil, I show Stop a bro, look at a bitch, you got stuck I'm stuck, beat, 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 beat Why you not link up in the street? Me and bit and brick and curve Put this relationship gold Got a, a stuff for the law, they hit on me But I handle it now, I'm good I'm good I shouldn't be in the band, though, that's why Studio doing drugs Light is trying to get comfy, baby Didn't I tell you like dog What did the move of whoosh? I make it hold it down for me, my bug I miss my doggy one bag show You know that's my family It's the only crack we cook You know this my family You ain't my family Can't put that on me, family You can't live with family I'm on the rise and tell family You know what I do with this I'm a fool, no bag I know that's jam I'm hot, you keep our show Stop our road Block it, I bet you got dodge I'm up in the street, me and bit and brick and curd, that's relationship gold. Baby, you know what I do with this ammo, boom, no bang, ain't no that's jam, I'm hot, you are so, stop a road, block it, I bet you got God, and I'm stuck, beep, beep, blue sky, why you not link up in the street, me and bit and brick and curd, that's relationship gold, you just got a nigga for a congregate, someone said I'm sick of guns and rap, so are all the people who live in this fucking apartment complex, trust me, but I'm stuck for the block to pay, I'm here, the one with the fool is playing, fuck, they could, they were seven Stop a road, block up, I bet you got dodge. I'm stuck, beep, beep. Why 
Ain't no link up in the street. Me and am bit and bit to the curb. That's the relationship. Go, man. No, I do with this. I'm a bum. No bag ain't no. And for everybody talking about this looks like London, there's no guns in London. This is South London. These kids are in Paris. Why you not? Me and bit and bit to the curb. That's the relationship. Go. Ooh, we gotta actually watch the new pod. My two dogs. I really fuck with both these kids. Tough. Me, me and Pa have had some deep talks for real. Let me tell you something about Pa Salute. <clears throat> Such a solid, nice person that when he got in the studio, I remember like we had ordered some food and I had a bunch of weed and he had hit his manager and he was like, <clears throat> yo, like, can you like get something for me to smoke at the studio? This and that. And I was like, Pa, take this, Pa, take this. No, I got you. Whatever you want. No, there's food here. There's this and that. And he was like, no, I can't. I can't. I can't take it. And I was like, no, for real, it's nothing. Please, like, roll a joint, whatever. Have some food, anything you want on me. And he would not take it. He was like, bro, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I finally convinced him, you know me. I bothered him enough to do it. And then as soon as I convinced him to do it, he tried, bro tried to give me some bread. And I was like, pop. <laughs> He's the nicest kid ever. Like, he really is just such a nice person. I shouldn't say kid. Grown man, nicest guy. <clears throat> such a good, good dude. And that's not my example, because he tried to give me some bread. You know, that's not what I mean. I just mean in general, it's a tribute to his character. He doesn't want anything from anybody. He doesn't want any favor. doesn't want anybody to give him a leg up or anything. You know what I mean? Like, he's just super, super <clears throat> earnest and trying to get it on his own accord. And honestly, like, I just hope the best for him. Same with G. I, don't, I haven't met G yet in person. We've talked. Man, I hope both of them win, for real. Nah, this shit is too crazy. The one, the number one thing that I wish we could bring over here from the UK is rewinding songs a million fucking times. I wish when you come to the, when you are in the UK, anytime something hard plays, it's like Funk Flex playing a fucking Drake Little Wayne record in 2010. It's like they play the first verse, the first 30 seconds of a hundred times, wheel it a hundred times. Like, it's called the wheel. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. When's the last time you DJed in London? Um, I wish we could bring that here. I wish there was some way that people would catch on here because it's just the best energy. As soon as something plays, people get so fucking hyped. They're like, nah, bring it. No, to the top every time. And I feel like I get that hype about shit. And if you do that in rooms here, people would be like, yo, what the fuck? Like, they would never... You know, what I mean? <laughs> never understand yes. the energy of it. The energy of it is like, yo, I love it so much. We gotta hear it again and again and again and again. But if you if you stop somebody's verse here, they're like, yo, you're not listening. Like, no, I wanna really listen to it. I wanna listen to it ten more times. I love that about the UK. It, correct me, I, I know that from my experience in the UK. Correct me if that happens other places, but that does not fucking happen here. Someone said it's from Sound Clash culture. That makes sense. Ron Dog. Going nutty. <laughs> Please, can we get a hundred million W's right now for Ron Dog? Ron Dog has been our biggest gifter of the night by far. Um, Ron Dog, thank you for being so generous. If you got gifted a sub from Ron Dog, please say thank you or just throw a little W in there. If you got gifted a sub tonight at all or you're subscribing for the first time or you don't know what the fuck is going on, please take these rewards. Go in the subscriber rewards in the discord download a bunch of shit download drum kits download all types of stuff there are things in there for you i need to get back on my my weekly gifting in there but there's samples from ill mind there's samples from mario luciano there's all types of stuff to make beats with if you're feeling uninspired and you just subscribed or got gifted a sub please go in there download a bunch of stuff ron dog shout out to you um hearing that pasalu Makes me want to hear some more. Yeah, yeah, look, we say that back that Red hair time with them run that Men mull up for ski, I can't yet I don't do ticks, just give me that stretch The money come fast, the money come quick Who got lit when they begin my dance Slim pulled up with a samurai, what? Now he's pissed, can he miss this shine? Can the darkest start? Really out here, man, I'm ready for what? Hmm, ski on the judo cap, wait Really out here, man, I'm ready for what? Hmm, skip on the G-Dog cap. Wait, wait, G-Dog cap. Wait, wait. Oh, 
Shit. Oh. Someone said Kenny did this one. What do you think? I'm... What do you think I'm playing? <laughs> Just random. I did the most for no reason. I don't see nobody. I yo. Nobody had me when I was on the low. Please give me enough. I saw you lock. I did the most for no reason. They don't want me shining no way. <laughs> I can't play this. I'm gonna get in trouble, but just know, Pa is one of the best out. Pa is just such a talented person. Happy to know him. Happy to call him a friend. Happy to call him a collaborator. Um, Grizz Rivers, what up, Kenny? I just filled in my mail-in ballot. It was so easy. Americans, make sure to vote. The process is mostly painless. We're going to all have to stand in fucking line. We're going to go there. We're going to stand in line. If you're where I am, you're going to sweat in line. We're going to fucking do it. We're going to do it. We're going to wait in line. We're going to vote. 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 Um... You know how fucking easy it is to register to vote? I guarantee you it'll take you less time than this. Ready? Less than that. Like maybe... Maybe that long. And you literally just sat here and stared at me. You're an asshole. If you don't take the time to register to vote and you're in America and you can vote, you're an asshole. You literally just sto stared at me for the amount of time that it takes. To go there to register. Do you think two clicks, it's even easier than two clicks, bro? It makes drip plugin look like a hassle. But why am I just selling the drip plug? I have no Kyle Beats, you owe me bread. <laughs> selling the drip plug. Um seven months. Seven months, seven months. I'm back in the cave. Headphone activist. Cheers on being back in the cave, fam. Cheers. Shout out to you. Uh, Brad Skirt said, UK, who's awake? Screw up. Easy. Asking about Suicide Boys also. Room Call Panda just gifted five subs. Shout out to you. Ron Dog going super crazy. Ron Dog's gifted 40-something subs tonight. Big shout out to Ron Dog. Big member of the community. How are we feeling? How are we doing? How is everyone's stamina? I like, I'm so far away from my normal studio. I feel like crazy being at the cave. Cave is so far away. Like I've moved. I've done so many things since I used to come here. Like, oh my god, I can't, I can't go yet. I'm not far. I'm far away from my fucking crib. I have to fucking stay here now. Um, someone said, let me hear that Scooty real quick. We might as well take it back. What else was on the playlist back then? Like, what was on the playlist first month when we used to come in here? Griselda. A lot of UK shit. What else? What was like the first songs? We gotta do Scooty, of course. Scoo. What Scoo? <laughs> what else? To some plus four shit, man. I know you're in love with Scooty. Governor of Detroit, someone said. <laughs> Scoo what? They're really in love with Scooty. But Scooty in love with Lizzie and my bed and my mother like Jizzy. If you wanna touch clouds, you wanna touch clouds then you better come with me. Every day grind and stack, so chilling with snakes is risky. Scooty, what? I know they're in love with Scooty. But Scooty in love with Lizzie and my 
in my bed, then my mum feel like jizzy. Like jizzy. If you wanna touch clouds, you wanna touch clouds, then you better come with me. Hey. Every day grind the stack, so chilling with snakes is risky. I can't lie, man, I love my green. You could say that I'm real healthy. Yeah. No one does work rate better than me. Addicted to grind like a grinder's teeth. Don't sound much, but I still look neat. You sit there, now they're looking at me. If you're mad that your man's broke and back, tell him put some packs on the street. One of a two for a one that's standard. Smoke that all at tea. More time don't make it home for tea. Young nigga, I grind, don't be vexed at me. I'm trying to be the greatest potentially. So the waves come easy like ABC. I don't give a toss. If you don't like me, bite me. She say the bars you icy. Screw up. Hey. They're really in love with Scooty. Man, wait till Scooty blows and we were all saying we've been listening to it for almost fucking seven months now. Someone said leak the Heady, please. No, we're too close to Heady dropping. Heady drops on Friday. You need to wait. We should watch the new Heady shit, though. Cause did, is Heady and H out? Is the Heady H video out? Heady H. Is it out? I don't think it's out yet, is it? Oh, it's not? Man, there's a, there's a, there is a new Heady video, though, I think. How how tight was the fire in the booth? That shit was so tight. I cannot wait to hear his album for real. Did the new shit? Someone said Booba snippet. <laughs> oh, we can't play that. We'll get fucking DNC eight in two seconds. Um, play Pink Lemonade. Okay, the UK is asleep right now. Is that really the the vibe? Someone said Percules. You better shit. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Oh, Look. Yeah. She giving the talk. talk. She giving the face. And then it's a race. She say how it be. be. Like pink lemonade. Yeah. Give it a taste. Feds in the back. I bet at my pace, I'm getting away, buckle your belt, looks like it's a chase, damn, guess I'm running late, she giving the talk, she say how it be, like pink lemonade, give it a taste, feds in the back, I bet at my pace, I'm getting away, buckle your belt, looks like it's a chase, damn, guess I'm running late, damn, guess I'm running late, Someone said, hey, Kenny, would you ever consider inviting some subscribers to the cave? You invite them to your house first. Let me know how it goes. Then I'll do it. Yo. Oh, kitty. Roll, roll, rap, all black, j head back, pick it like Kodak. Too hard straight cash when I sold that. Didn't do text like WhatsApp. Spend that pop for smoke, cause all year round, I was ready for comeback. I was on that ride, on that glide. Text one day after I signed that contract. My man comes for the bush, but Lucy only does rock like Wombats. Hey, EZ don't even look too bulgy, but it's so compact. 16 Someone said play some Alfredo? No, we ain't nothing to do with that shit. It's perfect as it is. I'm trying to play my shit. Better stop. Hold on. Let's do this verse makes me feel good. Oh, get it. Yo, 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 yo. Tuesday night. Yo, <coughs> yo. Hope you're feeling good. When the holidays are bomb out this bikini. Oh, uh, over the fence, Mr. Feeney. Hey, uh, I don't know what he be saying. And he's so dreamy. And insane. Bitch, you bass. Bitch, I'm this tall. Hey, Chris Star. Piss Star. Crush her out. Chris Paul. Black and she white. In a race. Freak take K. Hope they in a race. Beat shoes on like I'm Matt Drake. Hey, my name Bennett. I ain't in it. Hey, it ain't a scam. Do you have a minute? These Prada, these are Zonda. And I fuck with Flocka, ain't nobody got me. Hey, hit this Hillary Brown. My nigga ain't got no baby, keep a baby by small time. Literally, small time. Literally. Is this the original? Oh no. I can't even find the original Big Gretch. On behalf of the oh, here it is. <laughs> This is the original. This is the original. This is the original. Wait. Wait. This is why Detroit. Detroit should just get like five Grammys for just like as a state every year just because, uh, just for being Detroit. Hey. They should be like, here's the five Detroit. There's the five Grammys we're giving to Detroit artists this year, every year. 
Throw their bumps on their face, cause that's Big Grits. We ain't even about to stretch, we got Big Grits. Woo! You can find her in the press, under Big Grits. Fresh in a new dress, yeah, that's Big Grits. Throw the bumps on her face, cause that's Big Grits. We ain't even about to stretch, we got Big Grits. You can find her in the press, under Big Grits. Fresh in a new dress, yeah, that's Big Grits. Big Grits and this bitch playing no roles. At Excuse all. all the cussing, that's just how I get my flow on. If you wanna leave the state, you can stay gone. But right now, Big Grits says stay home. All that protesting was irrelevant. irrelevant. Big Grits ain't trying to hear y'all or the president. How we gonna take orders from a non-resident? Talk about it safe, but he ain't coming with the evidence. Oh, oh. Big Grits got him. Boy, you case it tonight. Wheel it. Hey. <laughs> more beats on the chat. Hey. We want to present these buffs to our governor. governor. Hey. Big Grits. Throw the buffs on her face. Because that's Big Grits. We ain't even about to stress. We got Big Grits. Woo. You can find her in the press. Under Big Grits. Yeah. Fresh in a new dress. Yeah, that's Big Grits. Hey. Throw the buffs on her face. Because that's Big Grits. We ain't even about to stretch. We got Big Grits. At all. You can find her in the press. Under Big Grits. Fresh in a new dress. Yeah, that's Big Grits. Yeah, Big Grits and this bitch playing no roles. At Excuse all. all the cussing. That's just how I get my flow on. If you want to leave the state, you can stay gone. But right now, Big... Nah. Hey. On behalf of Detroit... Pizza. Michigan, I love you. From the bottom of my heart. I wish I was born there. Hey, Grits! Throw the buffs on her face. Because that's Big Grits. We ain't even about to stretch. We got Big Grits. Woo! You can find her in the press. Under that's Big Grits. Fresh in a new dress. Yeah, that's Big Grits. Throw the buffs on her face. Because that's Big Grits. We ain't even about to stretch. We got Big Grits. At all. You can find her in the press. Under Big Grits. Fresh in a new dress. Yeah, that's Big Grits. Yeah, Big Grits and this bitch playing no role. At Excuse all. all the cussing. That's just how I get my flow on. Real. If you want to leave the state, you can stay gone. But right now, Big Grits says stay, stay home. All that protesting was irrelevant. irrelevant. Big Grits ain't trying to hear y'all or the president. How we gonna take orders from a non-resident? Talk about it safe, but he ain't coming with the evidence. Uh -oh. Big Grits got him shook now. When it's all over, you invited to the cookout. When it's all over, you deserve to get took out. Nope. Hey. On behalf Demo of the on the chat. Hey. Future Hendrix Pluto, don't make me block you. It's our governor. Hey. Big Grits. Throw the bumps on her face. Cause, Cause that's Big Grits. We ain't even about to stretch. We got Big Grits. Woo. You can find her in the press. Under Big Grits. Fresh in a new dress. Yeah, that's Big Grits. Throw the bumps on her face. Cause that's Big Grits. We ain't even about to stretch. We got Big Grits. At all. You can find her in the press. Under Big Grits. Fresh in a new dress. Yeah, that's Big Grits. Yeah, Big Grits and this bitch playing no roles. At Excuse all. all the cussing. That's just how I get my flow on. If you want to leave the state, you can stay gone. But right now, Big Grits says stay home. All that protesting was irrelevant. irrelevant. Big Grits ain't trying to hear y'all or the president. Oh. How we going to take orders from a non-resident? Talk about it safe, but he ain't coming with the evidence. Uh -oh. Big Grits got him shook now. When it's all over, you invited to the cookout. When it's all over, you deserve to get took out. Big Gretch with the buffs on on the lookout. Oh. And she doing it for Michigan, so when she hit the stand, everybody should be listening. She on that pair of buffs with the ice and them glistening. On behalf of the whole Detroit mission. On behalf Demo of Detroit. Beats on the Last one. These buffs. Our Kanye played Paris 10 times. Come on. Throw the bumps on her face. Cause that's Big Grits. We ain't even about to stress. We got Big Grits. Felix said me and Big Grits got the same hair. <laughs> Fresh in a new dress. Yeah, that's Big Grits. Throw the bumps on her face. Cause that's Big Grits. We ain't even about to stress. We got Big Grits. At all. You can find her in the press. Under Big Grits. Fresh in a new dress. Yeah, that's Big Grits. Yeah, Big Grits and this bitch playing no roles. At Excuse all. all the cussing. That's just how I get my flow on. Real. If you want to leave the state, you can stay gone. But right now, Big Grits said stay home. All that protesting was irrelevant. irrelevant. Big Grits ain't trying to hear y'all or the president. How we gonna take orders from a non-resident? Talk about it safe, but he ain't coming with the evidence. Uh -oh. Big Grits got him shook now. When it's all over, you invited to the cookout. When it's all over, you deserve to get took out. Big Grits with the buffs on on the lookout. Uh. And she doing it for Michigan, so when she hit the stand, everybody should be listening. She on that pair of buffs with the ice and them glistening. On behalf of the whole Detroit mission. Throw the buffs on her face, because that's Big Grits. We ain't even about to stress. We got Big Grits. At all. You can find her in the press. Under Big Grits. Fresh in a new dress. Yeah, that's Big Grits. Throw Grinch. the buffs on her there's low-key like a part two like there's i saw another one that kept popping up why was this other one popping up so much when i was looking for big grits 
Mm-hmm. Oh, it's just this? It's just a million videos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who made this? Okay. I'm sorry. That was we used to we used to watch Big Gretch in the early days of streaming, early days of cave streaming. I got lost in it. James said, "Hey Kenny, I love what you've done with Dots. I would love to work for you for free. How can I help you?" Ask my team. I think if you were really smart, you'd be ask, you'd be like following Eris and Dom and Dylan and being like, hmm, "Who's the person?" Like people act like Dots is just like Kenny Beats, run by Kenny Beats, all the graphics by Kenny Beats, all the work by Kenny Beats, all the filming. Kenny Beats films himself with a camera and then edits the film. Like, I don't do anything but make music. Like, talk to my team. Asking me for a job makes no sense. You know what I mean? That's like that's like being like, yo, like, th this is literally you asking me right now how to work for me. And no offense, because I appreciate you. And maybe there's a spot, who knows? Maybe you'll end up being my best friend. But what I'm saying is, James, this is like yelling to LeBron in the bubble from the side from those weird little like iPad pictures of you like, hey, LeBron, I really fuck with your management company. Like, how do I get in touch so I can work with it? Like, I'm on the court right now. Talk to my team. Like, that's, that's the people who work with me. They do all the work. They know how it all happens. Like, everything. They schedule everything. I would talk to my team. And I, I would give you that advice if you want to work with anybody. Um, talk to their team. You know, I'm literally the, the, the person you want to work with the most is probably the wrong person to ask. Ooh. I like that. Um, the person you want to work with the most, whether you want to collaborate with them creatively, whether you want to work with them on the business side of things, whatever it might be, they're probably the worst person to hit up. They're probably the busiest. They're probably the person who has the most on their plate. And that's why you want to work with them. And that's why you think they're cool. Look up the other players who are in their top five. Look up who they work with. Look up their manager, their agent, their team. You know what I mean? And don't pester people. Don't just transfer like stan energy for an artist or a producer or whatever it is. Right to like a very normal person with a normal life and a normal amount of followers who does a behind the scenes job. And be like, yo, what's up? I'm a part of, like, the fucking whatever, like, blah, blah, blah mob. Like, I'm a huge fan of this person. I was wondering if you could get me in touch with this person so I could end up managing this artist. Like, don't act like a psychopath. Just fucking hit them up and be like, hey, I'm a, I would really love to work with blah, blah, blah company. And when I say blah, blah, blah company, that could be the management company, the label, the whatever that works with the artist. You see how many steps removed this is from the artist you really love? That's a better bet than hitting the artist. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's just me. Stop comparing me to fucking... Stop comparing me to fucking basketball player. People used to tell me I was either Sean Bradley or what was the other one they would tell me? Steve Kerr? They would just say that because he was just white for no reason. Someone said, Kenny, I'd like to manage you. All right. You got the job. DM me. Let me call Mike and let it... All right. You got the job. Well, you, you said to ask the nice way. You got it. Let me, let me call Mike and tell him the news. Um, someone said, Kenny, I'd like to produce your beats. Give me the job, please. All right, fine. You got it. Someone said, do you know anything about East Asian hip hop? I don't think so. Put me on. I don't want to say, I don't want to ask you if something is East Asian hip hop and be wrong. Tell me, Aiden, I would love to know. Um, James, hey, Kenny, I love what you've done with Dots. Oh, wait, I read you. Season Tater Tot. Kenny, it's good to see you back in the cave. Stuck at work. Smoke with me. I'm taking a riff by the dish pit. Is that like where the pizza is made? You might be making someone's pizza smell like shit right now. Season Tater Tot. Um, wait, hold on. Let me look for something really quick. I want to show you guys a song you might not know I produced. Mm. What is this song? Hold on. There it is. No. 
my spell now. Um, you guys don't know that I did anything with anybody in Japan, do you? I've worked on some Japanese shit before. I'm not sure everybody knows about this because you're just probably not aware of like shit in Japan. I don't blame you. I'm not saying I am, but I just have friends there. Um, have you all ever heard anything I've ever done with anyone in Japan? Have you all ever heard of KZM? Has anyone in here ever heard of KZM, Japanese rapper? All right, let me show you something. I wonder if there's something on YouTube. Hold on. Oh, I'll just show you on Spotify. Fuck it. Deep, someone was just asking me if I fuck with any like with East Asian hip hop, but I don't know if you were talking about anything like this. But I worked on some stuff with uh, KZM, who's a Japanese rapper who I really fucked with. But let me play you some shit because I don't. I feel like a lot of people don't even know I did this for some reason because it only like goes off over there. Hold on. Which one do I want to click? Boom, boom, boom. Hold on. This is a while ago. This might be two years ago. ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、ま、
So let's say you ever get to work with Mac, I produce uh, 100 Stacks, which is a hook from Mac Miller with Schoolboy Q and Absol. Actually, I tweeted about it just the other day. We pulled the tweet because the tweet, they showed the video. I just chopped and screwed my whole stream. There's people in here who are just like microdosing who just started mad, like, they started kicking in for the first time all day. <sighs> You're fucking crazy, man. I like you, man. I like you, man, but you're fucking crazy, dude. Oh, I don't know what you're doing to those beats. You're fucking crazy, dude. I fuck with you, man. This shit, this shit's been fucking hitting super hard. What's on your master, dude? What are you putting on your master, dude? That shit's fire. Real. I'm not gonna be like, I'm not gonna be like, <laughs> let's collab. Like, I'm not gonna say something corny, dude, you know? I'm just trying to, like, <sighs> I'm just trying to tell you, man. That shit's, that's crazy, dude. That shit's fucking crazy, dude. The sausage fatter? You sausage fatter? Tight. That's tight. You ever, you heard of the, uh, you heard of the, the sound goodizer? You ever heard of the sound, the sound goodizer? It's tight. Yeah, no, I don't even, I don't use CLA vocals anymore. That whole thing, that thing's playing out of control, like, yeah, I know, I know it was in my vocal chain, but, like, that was a joke. That was, to, that was, I was trolling. I was just trolling. Like, I don't use it. I'm not, I don't use it. It's not, it's, that's not really my vocal chain. What? What's wrong? Everybody, uh, having a good... Good, uh, good stream so far. Tuesdays are a, Tuesdays are a fucking vibe. You know? People always, it's always like, oh, Monday, yeah, Monday's this, Monday's that, Wednesday's hump day, you know, there's Tuesdays and Thursdays, man. Tuesdays are like the, they're like the Meg, you know, you ever watch Family Guy? It's like, the, they're like the Meg. I'm fried. I'm just, I'm back in the cave, you know, I like, I'm just, I'm relaxed. Like I feel, I feel good. It feels good to be back. You know, is it loud? It's too loud. What do you mean? I thought we had the mic. It's not even. <clears throat> oh yeah, I guess a little loud. Huh? 
As long as that shit woke me up, I was zoned out. <laughs> okay, um, back to something serious. What did someone say? Uh, Kenny, did you ever get a chance to work with Mac? I think someone asked me about that. Let me find... This thing on Twitter happened the other day where someone posted a video of it. And it's a good clip from the video. Um, yeah, I produced this shit in my dorm room. In college. It's crazy. Um, R.I.P. Mac, R.I.P. Mac, R.I.P. Mac, R.I.P. Mac. Woke up early, kiss, kiss the bad bitch Throw me up a blunt, man I took a piss Can't remember what I did last night I'm just trying to spend a hundred stacks every day of my life Money in the end, black girls in the bedroom, white girls in the bathroom Fuck what I did last night I'm just trying to spend a hundred stacks every day of my life yeah, I made it. If you ever played GTA, you heard it. <laughs> um, Someone said, where'd you go to college? I went to Berkeley um, Music School. We miss Mac, for sure. I wish I got to... I met Mac like twice, I think. Um, never got to really know him. But I had talked a couple times. Got to do a song for him, which I hold, you know what I mean, in the highest regards, the fact that I got to do something with him. You know, do I wish I got to fucking sit? Imagine being able to sit in the fucking dot studio and be like, hey, Mac, show me how to make this road sound good. Hey, Mac, show me how to fucking make these drums sound good. Oh, God. I wish, man. You know, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. R.P. Mac. R.P. Mac. He was like, he's just such a fucking inspiration in so many ways as a person, as an artist, as a businessman, as a fucking friend to your friends you know r.i.p mac james hey kenny oh yeah thank you james i saw that uh cupid thank you for the donation big gretch please thank you for the donation rune claw panda gifted a bunch of subs i want to thank ron dog again andy milanakis our biggest gifter of the week holy shit uh ron dog number two alicia montana harry boy neekster sounds lmo beats panther music sire nyc Young Swagger, Blunts and Blondes 420, Timber Music. Thank you guys all for being so fucking generous. What, would, what did I make before? I don't even remember at this point. It feels crazy being back at the cave. Oh, my God. Um, all right, what did we make? What did we make? What did we make? Hey, hey. another one you got time you got time I got a little time fuck it another one yes 
Okay. Yes. Um, all right. I had another sample I wanted to do, I think. Oh, yeah. I like this. I like this one. Yes. Who's that? Who's that? Church Mark, keep forgetting our visuals on a Grizz project and got my vocals on Zeke Beats track this year. Shout out for all the W's and still be thankful for and shout out to this community for being a new place for me to share and collab with. Shout out to you, Church Grim. Been seeing your, your name a lot lately. Appreciate you. Congratulations on the placements. I wish I had that little synth, that little red one from the house. Oh, God damn, I wish I had it. God, oh, fuck. Okay, fuck. I can do it with the, uh, I can do it with the Mellotron Omni Mellow Flute or whatever the fuck. Oh, yeah, it's a little Japan, a little Japan thing to it for sure. Um, shout out to my boy, Jay Graham, who did that. Shit, I thought I was in the Ableton screen. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ableton. Sorry, sorry.
Someone said make DMB with with this. <laughs> uh, okay, since y'all are talking about Dexter, Drum, J Graham shit, let's let's try to take it a different way. <laughs> Thank you. 
chat was telling me that note was wrong. I can't hear it in here for some reason. It's weird. sure you were okay. I want to make sure everything was fine.
do the duplicate so I'll fuck something up
care. Oh man, Riles TV said add another sound, not complete. Mm, as soon as your little head ass tells me that, that's how I know it's exactly done. For all I care. Here, let me tell you a little cooking secret and a little production secret. Don't add any salt to the fried rice. There's already a bunch of soy sauce in there. You can go on back to your girlfriend for all I care. Socks at Buenos Noches, Kenny, longtime listener, first time donor. I'm on FL thinking of switching to Ableton. Not sure if I should. Any advice? Do it. Grow up. <laughs> Timber said, You should make this beat a tribute to Big Gretch. This beat is a tribute to Big Gretch. Thank you, Timber. I appreciate you, Hollis. Ooh. Um, Kodak Zilla said, You got my ass off my bed to go make something, and now I'm working on my best song I've made in my entire life. Sometimes I feel like y'all are lying to me. Sometimes I feel like you're lying to me. I literally told, remember before I was like, yo, get up, start Ableton, da, 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 da. You got my ass off my bed to go make something, and now I'm working on the best song I've made in my entire life. It's still in the idea phase, but if you don't say something, it wouldn't have happened. Thank you. No way that's true. You're being, you're, you're being too nice. There's no way that's true. But shout out to you, Kodiak. I hope you really are making something. Um, That's so funny. James said, oh, yeah, wait, I read James, sorry. Kodiak, Timber, Krusty Socks, appreciate you. Timber was gifting subs while I wasn't looking. Timber, appreciate you. Um, how are we feeling? Are we good? How are we doing? some shit like that. I don't hear it like Dex, you know? I don't hear it to Japan. Like, I don't hear that. Not 
doing? There's no booth. That's not an option. You can go on back to your girlfriend for all I care. Shit, I should save it. I should save it. I'm gonna save the beat. Hold on. Um, Twitch, K, new one, or new two. Uh, this, I do this all, like, I normally don't do this as much on stream because I'm high and I've been on here for a while and I'm starting to lose my mind. I haven't streamed this long in a minute, but I always, that's what I'm always doing. Like, I'm always just like humming bullshit even after the beat is done. And if it, if someone, like, I'm not, I'm not doing it so someone hears it, but like, if someone's like, oh, do you hear a melody? Do you hear a flow? Do you hear something? I will do my stupid ass humming and maybe they'll figure something from that or that'll, that'll be the start of, oh, well, I wouldn't do that, but da, 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 you know, you gotta always just hum stupid shit. Never be afraid to like sing or do some stupid shit. Even if your voice sounds like shit, that's so lame get fucking coronavirus tomorrow and die like come on we're not wasting time being scared of like having a bad voice if you got an idea if you have some shit sing it in your shitty ass voice people will 10 times out of 10 times even if you sing it shitty they'll be like all right yeah like that uh, you're like your nice voice but but a uh, cool idea like always 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 say out loud how you fucking feel about a melody, an idea, a beat, or whatever. If someone asks you, you know what I mean? If they say, hey, do you hear a melody? And you do, sing that shit when you're terrible-ass voice. But let them know what it is, you know what I mean? Don't fucking, oh, but I don't have a good voice. Come on, we're, we're growing up here. Like, I don't have a good voice yet. Neither do fucking I. So what? Figure it out. Sing some shit. Back to your girlfriend for all I care. Oh, oh, oh. Dolo, why are you being so nice? I see you being very nice over and over. I appreciate you. Kiro Moo, damn bro, I missed uh, the cave. Much love. Can you also do to peep that new Pac? Oh, oh, the Anderson Pac shit? No, I haven't heard it yet. Um, Ill said, was at Northeastern when you were at Berkeley. My roomies were even friends with Charlie. Can't believe I was so close. You said so far. Much love, bro. Thanks for inspiration. Now, Charlie. My roomie was even friends with Charlie. Oh, Puth. Oh, you mean Charles Puth? Um, man, yeah, right down the street, bro. There's a lot of people, a lot of legendary people in Boston at that time. Go, go, go. Hey. Uh. Hanzo, today might be the day you actually get banned. Hanzo, I've been letting you slide for a long time. Hanzo just said, make a beat, Kenny. Four-hour cave stream, two beats, all types of emotional. Make a beat, Hanzo. You fucking idiot. Hold on. What with your 999-plus messages? Oh, God. Hanzo, don't. today might be the day. Today might be the day. I just did two I just did two beats. What do you mean fucking make a beat? Oh god, I can't make it. Make a beat. Can you make a beat? What do I look like? Like I know what I look like. 
I'm a straight white male. I'm the worst of the worst. I get it. But make a beat, just yelling at me, make a beat. Come on. Come on. Have a little fucking, have a little fucking empathy, you know? Just made two beats. I came to a special location for the stream. I'm filming season three just for you guys. Season three of the cave. I gotta be on emails with these companies every week to get these fucking, these beat battle gifts. Y'all get to see all my favorite hi-hats. Every hi-hat I like. You see it. When's the last time you showed every single snare and hi-hat and kick that you liked to everybody? Never. You never showed it to anybody. Hanzo, you fucking jerk. Make a beat. Look under my eyes. You see these bags under my eyes? That's from making non-stop beats. My fucking last name is Kenny Beats. I was born into Ableton. Bred by it. Raised by it. Sculpted by it. Fuck have you done, Hanzo? Ball bros? What the fuck are ball bros? It's like blood bros, but you tap balls? That's not... That's not good. Social distancing. The fuck? Change your username. Don't come in here and tell me what to do. I made two fucking beats in here, and I had a fucking session today on top of that. I was molded by Ableton. I was using Ableton before you had any ball bros, you fucking jerk. You ever heard of Bang Bros? Irrelevant, but... Super HD. Here's my point. I'm not a fucking... I'm not a little wind-up McDonald's toy. Cactus Jack sent me to tell you that creativity is something that can't be pushed just because this is the time that you have to tune in. This is... This is my soul, guys. This is who I am. These beats are not just some cash money AP clap sounds and some Reddit Pierre Bourne 808s. This is more than that. This is who this is my life. I came out of the sludge of our drum kits and I made it this far. No, I'm not. I can't make a snare from scratch. I don't know how to fucking. I can't even spell oscillator. But guess what? I learned how to record snares. Is that not enough for you? Make a beat. The fuck you make a fucking beat. Hanzo, make one that gets more than six streams. How do you spell oscillator? Oh, it's, yeah, it's two L's. I would have never gotten that. Nine thirty at night. I'll take it all day long, but I won't take it past fucking business hours. It's nine to five, not five to nine, Hanzo. Get it through your fucking skull. Get it through your dense fucking skull, Hanzo. They're both empty. Late night tonight. Okay, I'm back. 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 Um, Kenny, don't read my name. Today is my seventh month, seven month sub anniversary and seven months clean from cult and two days self harm free. Couldn't do it without this community. I love you and love all these people. Thank you for all that you do. Hey, that's a huge fucking milestone. Stopping anything for any amount of time is unbelievably hard to do. I know every single day is a struggle. I know every single day is hard, but that's huge. Oh shit, the voice. Fuck. 
Sorry, I'm not trying to be funny. Hold on. Um, okay, all right, wait, let me be serious. Seven months clean. That's huge. I'm not going to say your name because you told me not to, but shout out to you. Um, that's gigantic. Staying clean is hard. It's a battle every single day. It's something you got to fight for every single day. And doing that for seven months, let alone a week, is insanely hard to do. Um, with everything else you're going through, if you ever want to talk in the mental health discord, if you ever want to talk to anybody, how many people will meet you in the mental health discord right now to talk if you need to talk? Say something in the chat. There's always people here for you, but shout out to you. I'm glad you're feeling good. Seven months subbed, seven months clean. Let's keep it going. I'll keep streaming. If you keep being clean, how about that? Boom, we got a deal. Um, Kira Moo, shout out to you. Ill, shout out to you. Drew Sweat said, hey, Kenny, my Ableton trial expired. What's my next move? Trying to be financially smart here. Send $25 to TJX6 on Instagram for a fraud Bible. Get it popping. Buy that Ableton suite and maybe a condo. Um... Shout out to you, Drew. Krusty Socks. Shout out to you, Timber. Shout out to you. Um, all right, I think I'm going to go. I need to eat food. I'm starving. I love you. Nice little cave stream. Nice little reunion. Um, I don't think I'll be back here anytime this week, but maybe we'll do it soon. Love y'all. Have a great fucking night. Please be safe. Please tell your loved ones you love them. Please check on your friends. Make sure they're good. Please participate in the dumb questions chat and help out people who don't know as much as you about making beats or go in the mental health chat and help out some people less fortunate than you who are going through it. Please do that. Do a good deed today. If you're not doing shit else, if you can't donate, if you can't do anything else, hop in there and help somebody out. Um, shout out to you guys for making tonight fun. I love y'all. I'll see you soon. I got a bunch of shit the rest of the week, but I think I'll be able to make it on a little bit. Um, wear a mask. Get out and vote if you can. Fuck Donald Trump. Okay, wear a mask. Be safe. I love you. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye.